Today, I am going to be wearing one of my custom eyeballs in public, but not just any custom eyeball, one of my anime eyes. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Jared Stodd here back with a brand new video and today's video, well, it's making me nervous already because I am wearing one of my custom eyeballs in public. Now, I did this video a few videos ago because I have never worn any of my custom eyeballs in public and it was one of the biggest fears that I've ever had in my life because I was scared of other people's judgment. And well, in that video, I overcame my fear and well, I actually had kind of fun wearing my custom eyeball in public, but it wasn't one of my most scary eyeballs that I have. It was just my purple eye and well, that one's not that nope. scary. So today, I decided that I'm going to step it up one notch and I'm going to be wearing one of my anime eyeballs in public and go to a few different stores. And well, I am very, very nervous. So first, let's decide which anime eye we're going to wear in public and then let's go see people's reactions. Okay, so I have five anime eyes total. I have my Pokemon eye right here, my Rinnegan eye, my Sharingan eye, my Sage Mode eye, and also my Mangekko Sharingan eye that I made by myself. So the question is, which eyeball are we gonna wear? So to find out which eyeball we're gonna wear, we're gonna be placing each eyeball under a solo cup right here. We're gonna mix them around, and the last cup standing is the eyeball that we are going to wear in public. And well, I just hope that it's not the Mangekko Sharingan eye, because I made this eyeball by myself, and just check this out. It literally doesn't even fit in my eye socket. It is way too big, but uh, let's give it a shot, because if I wore this in public, Tori, the what people, people, people would be like, yo, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> so hopefully we do not have to wear this eye in public, but let's place him under a cup and then we're gonna see which eye I wear. And now Tori's gonna start mixing the cups and then I'm gonna start eliminating the cups one by one. All right, all the cups are shuffled right here in front of me. We have five anime eyes to choose from. We're gonna start eliminating each cup one by one until we get to the final cup. So. Drop a like on this video and let's begin. I think we should start with a cup in the middle. What do you think, Tori? You're gonna remove it? This is the first eyeball out. Here we go. Three, two, one. The oh. Pokemon eye. Okay, I didn't really want to wear that one in public. I hope I get like the Sharingan or the Renegon eye because those are like one of my two favorite eyeballs that I've ever had. So let's remove number four. Here we go. Um, I'm thinking I should go with this one or this one. The one on the end. The one on the end? All right, Move let's it. see which eyeball it is. Three, two, one. Oh! oh the Renegon. The I literally just said I wanted to wear this Renegon eye in public, but now we are down to the final three, so let's remove the third eye. Ladies and gentlemen, I went with my gut feeling, and my gut feeling is telling me, go with the eyeball in the center. So, without further ado, let's remove the eyeball in the center. Three, two, one. Oh, the sage mode eye. You know what that means? You might have to wear the homemade eye. Yeah, I might have to wear the Mangekko homemade Sharingan eye that doesn't even fit, or my Sharingan eye, which was the first custom eyeball that I've ever worn, and honestly, probably my favorite, and probably also the scariest eye that I have. So, it is between these two cups right here, and uh, I think, I should just go with my left hand because I am left-handed and that is the closest to where my heart is, is the left side. Oh so I'm gonna go with this one. This is gonna be the one that I wear. And the last one eliminated is, oh, let's go! go! Let's go! I do not have to wear the Mangekko Sharingan eye, which means we're going to be wearing my Sharingan eyeball out in public and well, this is going to be crazy because this is probably the scariest eyeball that I have. Check this thing out. It is insane. Like this eyeball is crazy. So with that being said, let's just go in public and see people's reactions to me wearing my Sharingan eye. This is gonna be crazy. All right, it is time. We have made it to the first store and I'm not gonna lie, I am kind of nervous right now. My heart is pounding because this eye looks so scary. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, okay, this is actually terrifying. But uh, let's just go in here and see what happens. Jared, open your eye. What are you doing? I am scared. I don't know why. Every time I see somebody, I go like this because I'm terrified. I don't know. The last time I did this, I was, not, I was not terrified last time, but now I'm just like, this eye is black and terrifying. Look at this from the side right now. That's terrifying. No, you look evil. But I'm just gonna open my eyes and just be like this and see what happens. So okay. here we go. Let's see people's reactions. Not you looking down every aisle. I know. <laughs> you just trying to scare everybody. Mm. 
All right, guys, so we've walked by a few people, and honestly, no one like actually recognizes. They kind of look at me, and then they just look away like there's no big deal. But there has been a few people that are just like, and they just like stare for a few seconds. I mean, it's not like they're like judging me or anything. They're just staring at me because it's like odd, you know, like this is very different. But honestly, overall, this is a pretty nice experience. I'm not gonna lie, like no one's actually judging me. And this is by far the scariest eyeball that I have. So uh, let's just go to another store that's more busy because this one's not as busy. So let's go to another store and then we'll see reactions there. And we're at store two. We are at store number two. Let's see people's reactions. This is gonna be crazy. Okay, toward this store, I am more terrified, but uh, no one's looking at me. Like, everyone just walks past me. There was one girl that just looked at me and she's just like, and that was it. But honestly, I'm telling you, like when you wear something crazy or like if you dress crazy or whatever it may be, if you have a difference and you show it in public, no one actually cares. Everyone's just like doing their own thing. So everyone just do you. I'm gonna start wearing this eyeball in public a lot more often. So guys, if this video gets 25,000 likes, I will start wearing this eyeball every single day, no matter where I go. Did you see that guy's reaction? No, what did he do? He like did a four take. He was like this, pretend you are me right now. You're me, this is the guy. He did a four take on me. It was crazy. <laughs> he was just curious. He's like, what's wrong with that guy's eye or something probably, but this is freaking crazy. Let's get a few more reactions. Oh my gosh, nobody would react hard. I swear to God, no one reacted at all besides just taking a few looks at me. But honestly, like last time I wore my purple eyeball in public, I got more reactions than when I just wore my Sharingan eye. I feel like today just no one cares. Like no one actually cares that I have this crazy eye in. But honestly, like I wouldn't do anything either if I looked at somebody and they had like an eye, I'd probably just look at them and look away. And that is because no one actually cares. Everybody in public, they're just doing their own thing, guys, I'm telling you. So if you have a flaw, if you have a difference, embrace it, go in public with it. It. Don't be ashamed of yourself because no one actually cares. Everyone is just living their own life. So you should live yours too, worry free without the fear of others' judgment. Because when I was growing up for 20 years, I lived in fear of other people's judgment about me having a missing eyeball. And I always wore my fake eye and sunglasses to cover it up as much as I possibly could because I was scared that other people were gonna judge me and bully me for it. But in reality, no one actually cares. This is my second time ever wearing one of my eyeballs in public. And honestly, I was a lot more comfortable this time than I was the first time just because I had already done it one time. And honestly, I might start doing this a lot more often. So like this video, if you think I should wear my custom eyeballs in public all the time and just embrace and have fun with all of my custom eyeballs that I have. But anyways, put in the comments below which eyeball I should get next because I have been contemplating getting a new eyeball here very, very soon. And because it's December, I've been thinking, should I get like a Christmas eye or a Christmas tree or candy cane type of eye for the vibe. So please put in the comments below if I should get a Christmas eyeball or not. And well, if you guys think I should, then I will get a Christmas eyeball and post it on Christmas day. That would be crazy. But let's put the Sharingan eyeball back on the shelf. And with that being said, guys, let me know in the comments if I should go in public with any of my other custom eyeballs. Out of all the eyes here, I think the craziest one would probably be the Minecraft eye. That eye in public would just be freaking insane because that's probably one of the scariest eyeballs that I have. But I think one of these eyeballs has to get a crazy reaction. So far we are 0 for 2 with crazy reactions, but soon that will change. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, drop a like on this video and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.